What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody? I've just filled 20 and I'm back. Check it out. We've got all the potassium hydroxide batteries behind me. This very bottom row is uh, batteries that I've tried to repair through just regular, you know, charging and, you know, charging and charging and, it, you know, none of these batteries on the bottom row actually work. None of them. Um, currently, I have two batteries remaining that are in really bad condition. I took one of them out. The one that I most recently took out, re uh, we replaced with that battery I cleaned. And that battery that I cleaned is, uh, it's kicking ass. It is really kicking some butt. And like I said before, I didn't replace the potassium hydroxide in it. But in reality, um, I do need potassium hydroxide and that will be coming. Uh, now, let's go ahead and go over why I'm talking to you today is running my battery, uh, the two remaining batteries in reverse polarity during full depth of discharge. I run the batteries down. So I was trying to get it to where I had a little bit of power left. Let's turn the power back on. So the battery power went out and when I turned everything back on, the camera wouldn't focus for 15 minutes of talking. So I've got to start over. Let's go over to a couple of points. First, we was reversing polarity on two batteries. Second, I'm considering using a concentrated cleaner. This is Black Max uh, coil cleaner for heat pumps. It reacts to aluminum uh, with a exothermic properties and cleaning properties. So it's a really, really strong detergent. Um, I don't think it's acid, but it's pretty, pretty corrosive. We're talking about what we can do to improve our battery capacity. This battery bank is anywhere between 20 years old and 40 years old. Now, I've got a 40 year old battery I just took apart cleaned up and put back together uh, so you know that's pretty much done I've got two batteries that are stroking out tonight the power went out you've seen it uh, the only reason why the power went out was because of those two batteries those two batteries are weak they're reversing polarity next is I wanted to talk about the electrolysis now I've been doing the electrolysis for a couple of days now and the stuff coming out is pretty nasty. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So here's the wrench after a couple of days and it looks like it's pulling the crud. And it's green and black. So it's green and black and it's probably got a lot of cadmium all over it. So uh, you, you got to take that in consideration in this situation. The top of this is not submerged, but everything below had been submerged and it's been plated with nickel and cadmium. Uh, it's getting thicker rather than decomposing and rusting into nothing. So I got a feeling that uh, this process is actually working really, really well. So this is the piece of iron that I chose to put inside as the sacrificial piece of iron because, uh, uh, but in, in reality, I wanted you to see what has happened when using, <clears throat> using it. So, 
I don't know if I'd ever clean it up and try to use it because it's being plated with cadmium. But it is really important to note that it looks as if it may be working. So you can see that uh, that black crud, crud is coming off of the, uh, the plates inside and attaching to this. So I need to get that thing back going again so it uh, gets some more. But, you know, it's it's really cool. I mean, you know, everything's working really well. And I just think everything's working with a really good situation so far. So we've got two batteries right here that's not working. Now up here I haven't tested any of the batteries that are currently up top because I did a lot of time on switching batteries out and putting the very, very best I had on the top. And right now I don't think that I have any more batteries that are good enough to go on the top shelf. Now this one with the new potassium hydro uh, with new potassium hydroxide this one right here the one I cleaned out may end up going on top but as of right now it I don't think it's ready yet um, just throwing this out there this seems like it has a lot of storage power but it's spread out over a period of time. It's kind of a bit different. It seems like how the other ones react. I think that the cloth material itself may be preventing it from releasing heavy amps for longer periods, or it could be that it just battery needs potassium hydroxide replaced, which is probably the more likely scenario. Uh, I think somebody told me they recommend 1.2 to 3.0 for potassium hydroxide level in their batteries. Could be wrong on that. But, like I said, these two batteries are ready to go. Um, and it's important that I marked all these in the past. All these have already been marked. You can see on this cap here, it's got some black tape on it. I use black as a battery that's ready to be changed. And you can see here I got a red marker. That's a battery that is a happy battery. And black on the terminal is the next batteries that need to come out because they're reversing polarity. So I've got two that's reversing polarity under serious depth of discharge. Um, and you know, I'm getting a lot of power today that I didn't have before. I didn't get in the float today. I was in absorb for a little while, but I didn't get in the float. And I have more power today than I ever have before. So it's four o'clock in the morning and I wanted you guys to see what was going on. I mean, this is important for you to learn. Is it important for you to get these type of batteries? Um, these batteries really kick ass. But when they start reversing polarity, they seriously diminish the amount of power that they use, can use because they actually start charging the battery in reverse. And that's where you get reverse polarity. You put in, you discharge the battery to zero volts and then it starts going backwards and the plates, you know, the positive plates become negative and the negative plates become positive and all that crap starts attacking the cadmium plates, which is a really bad thing, I think. So if you've got batteries that are reversing polarity, I think it actually kills the cadmium plates and decomposes them. It breaks it down, and I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong about that. But in reality, these are the next two batteries coming out. I've got a battery that I'm working on over here. It's I think it's gonna work, could be wrong, probably wrong, probably not gonna be able to benefit through electrolysis, but I am testing it if, if you can. 
And even though if you can't, I'm gonna try this stuff right here, which is called Black Max Coil Cleaner. And this stuff, uh, if it doesn't kill the battery, it'll bring it back to life like no other. I mean, I've got 14 batteries right here that I'm gonna clean. And I'm gonna check one of them because this side here is uh, what I call the rat shit batteries. The reason why I call them the rat shit the rat shit batteries is because there's a bunch of rat shit inside of them. These batteries had no caps. They was left out for rodents and they made nests on top of all these batteries when I picked them up and me and uh, Yankee 4 split the rat shit batteries. So, you know, the ones without the caps on this side uh, is what I consider the, the rat shit batteries. But, you know, it's, it's gonna work out, I think, because these look better than any of them, but I just think they need potassium hydroxide. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that go. It's five o'clock in the morning. And I mean, the powers went out tonight because I was making videos with you guys. I run it down to real low and you know, I've been monitoring this so I can show you what happens with this. You know, the power goes out with this stuff right here, it's, it's so cool. And um, I got to show you that we was, uh, you know, this battery's kicking butt. These two batteries ain't doing very good. And the rest of the batteries are just like, nah, limping and, you know, you know, limping. But these two batteries have had a stroke and they're dead. I mean, there's zero volts right now. And it was, I wish, Wish I could show you more, but you know, in reality, this is what it is. And I'm really happy so far with what's going on. And the electrolysis is working. So I can't show you inside of the battery without taking the battery out of the big bucket. Um, but, you know, I showed you the tool and we've got the two batteries that are remaining in the battery bank that ain't happy no more. And once those are out and replaced with better batteries, I'll find some more that are not as good and I'll take out the worst batteries and replace them with batteries that have cleaned and improved. So I just wanted to let that go for you guys. I mean, I know I, I want to put out more information about these batteries, but I wanted to really soak it up and, you know, take my time to think about how I was going to do this. Um, and it just, you know, thanks for watching. This is Philip 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. Make sure you check out the next video and subscribe. See you next time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.